Mi nombre es Grey Bin Salas, soy artista visual costarricense. Crecí en el campo, rodeado de ríos, bosques y animales. Me cautiva la belleza, la generosidad y el misterio de nuestro mundo tropical. Cuando pinto, dejo que mis recuerdos y emociones guíen el pincel. Con cada trazo, trato de capturar la complejidad y la impenetrable inmensidad de este paisaje vivo. Acompáñame a un recorrido por mi obra, Los Colores Vivos, una mirada a la transformación de los espacios rurales de Costa Rica. Crafting this journey starts here, in a place Graven calls his creative corner. This corner is filled with peace and the sounds of nature intertwined with shades of light and color, central elements of his creative process. With an aerial view of the rich, lush landscape of hills and valleys, the artist invites us to see his world in northern Costa Rica. To our surprise, however, the view from above could be deceptive. At ground level, barbed wire surrounds the captive forests for their protection and survival, and for our own benefit and enjoyment. On the other side of the fence, the jungle encroaches with its thickets of bushes and weeds. The dynamics of sunlight and rain shape our unique way of life. In the deep forest, sunlight is the most important element in the renewable process of the ecosystem. In the summer, morning streaks of sunlight reflected on the water ignite the colors and contours of the landscape. Water is the other element that sustains and shapes this diverse world. Small, shallow pools of water are ubiquitous in the jungle, providing places for biodiversity. Such as cattle egrets gathering at dusk to roost in the forests. Creeks and ponds come together in swirling rivers, connecting our diverse tropical landscapes. Despite the wealth and importance of our natural resources, we have altered them dramatically in the name of progress. Here, stumps of trees that have been cut down bear witness to a mutilated landscape being readied for development. More wetlands, with all their complex diversity, are drained each year to expand commercial agriculture. In most areas, people and their domestic animals have taken over an already compromised landscape, pushing aside nature's diversity. And now, cultivated crops dominate the landscape. As an example, pineapple plants march back into the forest, seeking new places to grow. And as natural surroundings are altered, wild plants compete along forest borders, trying to regain what has been lost. We are now urban societies, far away from nature, suffering from a distorted assessment of the wealth of and present dangers to the landscapes we cherish and need to protect. Therefore, it is urgent to reconnect with nature through local and global efforts to value and to preserve our vital tropical forests. This is our call. This is our task. The Living Colors, a journey into the transformation of Costa Rican rural landscapes. <laughs>